Hi everyone, it's good to see you again. I wonder how you got on yesterday with that drawing challenge, the describing challenge. I think it's really a real challenging one, but a really enjoyable one. Now, we're going to revisit that today, um, and then we're going to do some odd one out puzzles. I'll explain what I mean by those. Now, if you manage to come up with your own examples, we'll use them later in the week a lot, particularly on Thursday and on Friday. But for now, let's go back and practice again, visualising and drawing some shapes. Okay, everyone. Well, we're going to have a go at practicing again from yesterday, where I describe a image to you, you draw it, and let's see how similar we can make them. I've been really practicing on this describing skill of mine. I hope I'm getting slightly better. Okay, this time I want you to start off by drawing a quite a tall, a fairly thin rectangle. I, I would say that the bottom of the rectangle is a, is about. Um, is maybe a quarter of the size of, uh, of the of the tall side. So the side is four times taller than it is wide. Okay, so I want you to draw that that tall um, rectangle straight up. Okay, feel free to pause the video if you need to. Right. So let's have a look at that tall rectangle you've drawn, and I want you to go to the right hand, the bottom, and the right hand side of that of that rectangle. There's a, a rectangle that's attached to it, but this one is it's wider than it is tall. So go, um, let's say about halfway up that line, that the right hand side of the rectangle that you drew, the tall one. And you're going to draw a line that goes straight to the right. So a horizontal line, uh, straight right there, make a right angle there. And then draw a rectangle that goes it goes out to the right there and it comes down straight another right angle going down and it joins up again with the bottom of, of that rectangle the first rectangle that you drew so you'll have one tall rectangle and another one that goes to the right it'll be like an L shape but with a, a big fat bottom line for the L okay so have a go at drawing that one and again pause the video if you need to and then this is the last thing that I want you to do is go to that tall thin rectangle that you started off with and go to the top right hand corner of it and you're going to draw a diagonal line that goes down to the left and it joins up with the left hand side of that of that rectangle part way down now it's about halfway down that it joins up so you're going to go to the top right hand corner of that tall thin rectangle you drew at first and draw a diagonal line that goes down and to the left and it goes halfway down the line that you, the, the other, the left hand edge of the rectangle. So draw that diagonal line. And again, pause the video if you think you need to. And then let's see how well we did together. Have we, have we managed to make them similar? What do you think? Hmm, I wonder how well I did this time. Okay, come on, one more, one more. We've got to have one more. Um, right. Um, so I've got the last shape that I can see here and it's a triangle. You might call it an upside down equilateral triangle. So what I mean by that is that there's a, a side, a, the top side is one flat line across the top. Um, and it, so it's a horizontal line, one long horizontal line. And then I've got an equilateral triangle. So all the angles are the same sides, all the sides are the same length. And there's a point at the bottom. Um, so draw that big triangle. Okay, now having drawn that big triangle, we might call it an upside down triangle based on the way we see triangles normally. I want you to draw a straight line um, that goes from left to right, so a horizontal line, that so it's, it's parallel to the top of the triangle, but near the bottom of the triangle. So you're cutting off like a very small triangle. So it's about maybe a quarter of the side of one of the sides going upwards. So it's a bit like looking at an upside down mountain with a snowy cap. Um, so see if you can draw that line. This, of course, is at the bottom of the triangle. OK, and then look at that little triangle that you've made and go to the left hand side where it meets up with the side of the triangle and draw one line that goes straight up and it stops at the top of the triangle. So what you've got is it's like it's creating another triangle on the left hand side inside the big triangle. And that, that will be a right angle triangle that you make there. OK, so there'll be three parts in your, in your triangle, two triangles and a trapezium. OK, again, I hope I did well this time. I hope, I hope that explanation was clear enough. This is what it looks like. 
Was that anything like yours? I hope so. Well, it's time for today's main task. Okay, so we're going to develop this thing of reasoning around shape um, in these different ways. You'll need to name shapes, but more importantly, you'll, you'll need to think really deeply. And to do that, we're going to play Odd One Out, which is a brilliant, brilliant game. Uh, you're going to find lots of creative solutions and different ways of answering. So I'm really looking forward to today. Um, so we're going to play Odd One Out. I'm going to show you three things. And the aim, you've got to say which one is the Odd One Out. but. I wonder if you can not only choose one that's the odd one out, but you can think a reason why more than one might be the, the odd one out. Or even, can you think about why each thing might be considered the odd one out? We're going to start off with these three examples. A bike, a chair and broccoli. Okay, which one's the odd one out? Can you think of a reason why each one could be the odd one out? Pause the video and have a go. Bet you didn't expect to be asked this question. Okay, um, well, I'm going to tell you my reasons for, for, for each example. Okay, well, the first one I thought is, well, the broccoli is the odd one out because it's a, it's a, it's a food um, and it, it, it's not man-made. So bro obviously broccoli is the odd one out. Well, ooh, what could make the chair the odd one out? Well, I actually think that the chair is the odd one out because the broccoli and the bike keep you healthy. So I think that's the, the reason why the, the chair must be the odd one out. No, hang on a minute, the bike's the odd one out. Because the chair and broccoli you might find in the school hall at lunchtime, but you wouldn't find a bike there. Well, so I managed to find a reason why each one might be the odd one out. Well, let's see if we can apply that to our odd one out challenges using shapes, okay? So a triangle, a diamond, a rectangle. Which one's the odd one out? Why? Can you think about why each one might be thought of as being the odd one out? Pause the video and, and see what you can come up with. Okay, well, let's have a look. Well, it must be the triangle that's the odd one out because it's got three sides and the other two shapes have got four sides. They're quadrilaterals. The triangle's the odd one out. No, hang on a minute. It's the diamond. Look, it's got obtuse angles. You've got angles that are more than 90 degrees and less than 180. It's the diamond that's the odd one out. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It must be the rectangle that's the odd one out. Look, it's got parallel sides. It's got a pair there of parallel sides and a pair of parallel sides there. The diamond and the triangle don't have any parallel sides. Let's have a go at another challenge. Um, how about this one? Shape A, shape B and shape C. Which one's the odd one out? Could, could more than one be the odd one out? Pause the video. Hmm, well, I wonder, I wonder. It, it must be shape A that's the odd one out. Because look, shape B, all the angles in shape B are the same and all the lengths of the sides are the same. It's a regular shape, so is shape C. Look, those four sides are the same length. The angles are the same. Shape A is the odd one out. No, wait a minute, shape B. That could be the odd one out because look, all the angles are obtuse. They're more than 90 degrees. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. No, it's shape C because these two shapes, they're hexagons, they've got six sides. Shape B isn't, it's a square. Okay, one last example. Shape A, shape B or shape C? Which one's the odd one out? Can you think of different reasons why, why each one could be? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, let's have a look. Well, it's got to be. It's got to be shape A that's the odd one out. Look, it, it's got a curved side. The others have got straight sides. It must be the odd one out. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. Now, hang on a minute. I think it must be shape B that's the odd one out. It must be. Because look, it's got pairs of sides the same length. It's got uh, two acute angles there, it, it must be the odd one out. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, shape C is the odd one out, because look, shape A has got this line of symmetry here, I could fold it over itself there, could with shape B as well, shape C, it doesn't have any lines of symmetry. Now, of course, when we're playing odd one out, what we want to be doing is talking about shapes and their properties and comparing them and seeing what's the same and seeing what's different. And so, today's task. Um, home learning, home learning year three and four, or from wherever you're seeing the video, just like normal, uh, the the work is always underneath that video on the on the link that's that's there, or you know whether it's you looking at it from previously, um, and it will bring up this task. 
okay? So you can either, either have a go at task A or have a go at task B. So let me explain uh, task A. Task B is similar, but with different shapes. For each pair of shapes, what is the same and what is different? So look at those two shapes and say what's the same and what's different. And for those two green ones, what's the same and what's different? Then have a look at this example here below. Think of a reason why each shape could be the odd one out. So see how many different reasons you could give for, for one of those shapes being the odd one out. Now, I'm also looking for you to design your own odd one out questions, either using shapes or using other things. If you can make sure when you when your parents email them through, if they say if we're allowed to use your name, um, if you're watching the year, in year three or, or four, um, rather than in year five and six. Um, and I would love to use some of your examples later in the week, probably on Thursday and on Friday. We'll we'll have a look at them. That would be fantastic. I hope you really, really enjoy this task and I will see you back tomorrow.